Okay, well, thank you for joining us for today's video here at the Big Balloon Festival. I'll be cutting a fabric kit this week and making it available for anybody to purchase from eBay. So I've decided to go and dig through my stockpile of fabric out in my workshop and bring it to the cutting table and see if we can put together something that resembles a model balloon. I've chosen the size for this project 40 cubic meters and here's a little playback of some of the 40 cubic meter balloons that I've built over the last 15 years. If you found your way to this video through a thumbnail as shown now on the screen, you're in luck. The auction will be taking place soon or is taking place right now. You can follow the link in the description or there will be a countdown clock showing how many days till the auction begins. Now I've made the decision to use red and black and white for the majority of this build. Some of the material has been stored away for quite some time and needs ironing. This may well be the only time that I iron on video. If you've been around the channel before you'll have seen the cutting table and the cutting workshop that I have in my house. And so with lockdown in full swing, here's me laying out the fabric for this balloon. Each horizontal strip of the balloon is made up of 20 components. So each of these can be cut at the same time using a rotary cutting machine. So my first job is to lay up those 20 layers of material and form them into a panel. With upcycling this fabric, each piece of fabric is a slightly different shape, and so the job takes a little bit longer, but it's worth the effort. We're effectively recycling this material which was going to waste, or is post-production material that never got used. This is something that I used to do a lot in my teenage years, and some of my early balloons were completely constructed from waste fabric. So first job, lay up the material, get it 20 layers deep and form some kind of a colour scheme. I'm starting with the middle panels because they're going to be the largest, both width and height. Next job is to position the brown paper template on top of this stack of material and weigh it down in position. I'm using a permanent marker to draw around the perimeter of the brown paper pattern and then I'll bring in my rotary cutter which can cut through all 20 layers of the material. After that it's about repeating that process again and again until all the different shapes and styles of panel have been produced. We've just got one section of this balloon which is slightly different and again, going with the upcycled theme, this was part of a previous model balloon. When we first inflated this balloon, we made the decision that the white stripe within this section was too high. And so that section of the balloon was rebuilt, meaning I've had in my garage for some years, a section of the balloon which is cut to shape, already sewn, with nowhere to go. So this balloon is going to include that section. So with the fabric mostly being upcycled, it's in various different shapes and sizes when it comes to the cutting table. And I've been able to produce different numbers of red panels, black panels and white panels depending on the shape and size of the material. I've kept track of that in this Excel spreadsheet. One of the things that I've learned in my experience over the years of building model balloons is depending on the seam allowance uh, that's used by the constructor, which can vary depending on the sewing machine and the personal preferences of the builder, 
when you come to the top of the balloon there is a small circle that brings everything into uh, alignment with people using different seam allowances this can change in size so uh, to counteract that uh, I build each model with the relevant colors but in different size circles to fit into the top of the balloon whoever takes home the balloon at the end of the auction will of course get a builder's guide to go alongside the construction to help with any of these ideas and I'll guide those people as well as they go through the steps. Moving on in terms of the cutting of material, the final thing for me to look at is the Nomex panel. Nomex is the small section of material that sits around the mouth of every hot air balloon and this is used to provide some extra fire protection. Nomex is the material that's used in racing drivers suits uh, to protect them from crashes that involve fire. In this case I've been able to find red and white material in my stockpiles. You can see here on my one person balloon it's a different colour and this is quite common within balloon building that the Nomex doesn't match the rest of the colour scheme. So I've been quite fortunate here to find red and white material to fit with the, the overall colour scheme of the rest of the balloon. Remember, if you've joined through a thumbnail that looks like this, the auction is either about to start or is currently taking place. If you saw a thumbnail that looks like this, the balloon has already sold, unfortunately. But keep an eye out for a future video coming along, showing us how the balloon has been built. If you've missed out on the auction, feel free to leave us a comment below, telling us what colour balloon you'd like to see us build next.